Gunship down. Target down. It's down. We got a hammerhead on the scope. He's on our uh, he's on our port side high. No, he's on six o'clock high. He's on us. Good hit. Target's down. Welcome pilots, my name is Hybrid V, and 318 is finally here in the PTU. And one of the things we wanted to test in the Forgotten Heralds was the new salvage gameplay loop coming in 318. However, we didn't want to test it in the traditional way of, say, going to a Lagrange point or an asteroid field looking for Rex. No, we were hunting bigger games, so we suited up, got into our favorite multi-crew ships, and went out to hunt an Idris frigate. The ensuing gameplay was absolutely incredible, not just because of the normal gameplay combat aspect that we're all used to, but because of the fact that now when you shoot a ship, there's a lot more soft death involved, meaning that you can actually board the enemy ship, loot the characters, and take any of their equipment and finish it off if you desire. And if friendly ships are also found to be floating in there, you could potentially search them to see if anybody needs assistance. But for now, enjoy the action on screen. I'll be back later to provide some additional narration to provide context for what's going on. But like I said, for now, enjoy the action, and I'll see you back here shortly. No idea on them. They are above initiator. Let's just go ahead and get this missile boat. Is close, uh, oh yeah, gunship. Almost yep, there. make gunship priority. There. Target number two, Almost 12 o'clock engage. Power to shields. Let me know when you need boost juice for those uh, main guns. Initiator is getting beat up on. Gunship down. Copy, power to weapons. Copy, engaging Kilo Bravo, 12 o'clock. In that Mustang, blast him. Ah, so the gravity does work. He's down. It may have something to do with me being crouched. I'm guessing there is a threshold and I am just below it. 12 o'clock club. Copy, 12 o'clock. Whiskey Victor. Power to engines. Down. Down. Target down. Friendly's being engaged by Romeo Bravo. Copy. Power to weapons. Weapons are good. Let me get shields. Power to shields. Get down. Flash. Good job. I thought I was gonna. Alright, we're good. Nice. Um, yep, all hostiles go. down. Yeah, yeah let's go. Out. Let's go. Drop Benj off and have him clear it out. So, uh, oh, you're already on space. Yeah. <laughs> He's like way ahead of you. <laughs> At this point, we decided we wanted to clear out some enemy multi-crew ships we had just knocked out. Currently in game, when you knock out a AI ship, it goes into a soft death state where all the AI are killed instantly. If this was a player ship, the players would still survive, however. But regardless of the fact that the AI were all dead, we still wanted to check it out. Alright, hybrid is EVA on route to the constellation. Checking her out now. Let's 
Breaching now. I'm just taking whatever they got on them. Oh, okay. What's theirs is mine. I may try to salvage them the whole thing. OSP in space. Before we took off to our next mission, I decided I wanted to try to salvage some of the hull to fill up a few of the canisters I had on my character, just in case we needed to heal our Corsair up if we got into a real heated engagement in the next mission. Not the gun, yeah. I hope they update their uh, loot pools at some point. I would really love to uh, collect like rare stuff from them if you soft death them as kind of like a reward. I'll sit here, canister's full, on my way back to Corsair. Uh, I don't even know if we're going to be able to do it, but I'm down. On a stock Corsair, I feel like we're going to get clapped. <laughs> Green. Alright, Hammerhead is primary initiator. Yep, there's the Idris, and here comes her escorts. Friendly retaliator. That's handy. And po possible torps coming in from that group. Uh, Echo Tango, the edges? Yes, okay. Let's get this cutty black real quick. Trouble clock close to KM. Contacts. Almost there. Almost there. All stations be advised, I'm hearing torps in the water. Hostile Hammerhead, 12 o'clock. Two Hammerheads. Engage the Hammerhead, primary. Number two. Yeah. All the heavy up. Oh, yeah, my frames are dying. Same. Right. Powered engines. Top turret is recharging. Power to shields. Fire. Let me know when you need charge on those cannons. Powered weapons eye. Yeah, I 
Gaging. Top is recharging. Recharge. Shit, that was one of our ships. That Idris is chewing up our friendlies. Unfortunately, I don't have any size fives or all size fours, so. Down. He's down? Hammerhead flat. Idris has got his bow gun trained on the initiator. He might go down here in a second. Uh, shields. Power to shields. Power to engines. Copy engines. Top is engaging. Alright, let me get shields. Shields, aye. Top's charging. So I start I'm gonna stagger a little bit. I'm gonna use some support about now. Make it weapon. Copy power to weapons. Boxer. Good launch. Good hits. Good launch. Good hits again. Incoming fire, power to shields. Shields are fine. Copy, just gonna keep it there for damage mitigation for now. Yep. Power to weapons. And recharge. Good impact on one torp. Looks like two misses though. Top's charging. Power to shields real quick. Oh, Torp is coming back. It missed, I think. Nope, it's gonna hit. It's gonna hit. Yes, good hit. Two out of three hit. Good hit. Keep hitting it. Charging. You lost an engine, watch the engine. Power to uh, weapons. Third torpedo came back. Ooh, good hit, good hit. Stops charging. Power to shields. Okay, we're not taking too much heat here. Power to weapons. How's your boost doing? I'm not using any. Okay. I'm good. Starboard charging. Keep beating on him. Bench, contact uh, port side of you. You got a, looks like a hammerhead trying to intercept you. Yeah, it's fine. Ooh, watch your nose, watch your nose. Ooh. He's swinging that nose like a child with a pistol. He's 
charging right now. Shields are taking a beating. Power to shields. Yeah, power. The primary initiator, I think that's him. He's getting, if that's him, he's getting chewed up pretty good. He's getting beat up. Just run interference, just run interference. Keep the pressure off him if you can. Fire weapons. Visual on exterior explosions of hostile frigate. He's probably going to pop pretty soon. Just keep the pressure on. Power to weapons. Top is charged, pouring on the heat. He's down. We got a hammerhead on scope. He's on our. Uh, he's on our port side. Hi. No, he's on six o'clock high. He's on us. Beat him up. Top is charging. Incoming fire, power to shields. Charging. Power to weapons. Uh, power shields. Power. Copy emergency shields. Hybrid's got ball and missiles, locking, tone, box two. It's down. Alright, we got two dead hammerheads on scope. Where is that Idris at? There he is, 12 o'clock. Reference guns for the Idris spot. Just follow the tracers. Nice. Uh, Trev, salvage out. We got a dead Idris here. Uh, yeah, I'm just long ahead. Salvage one inbound. Oh, yeah. After the battle, we called in FH's logistics corps to clean up the mess that we left behind, and oh boy, was it a big mess. It already popped. It it's just intact because it's a. Ooh, there she, she goes. Because every time we kill one of these things, it starts singing and ho ho ho. And then go. Okay, it's not Exiting co pilot. Whatever you guys uh, managed to get the server, get over here. Just coming over. If you want, you're welcome to take my turret slot also when you're done with the salvage. Are you okay? Perfectly fine. My character is very flexible, didn't you know?
Flying through the wreckage of a destroyed Idris that you and your buddies just smashed is probably one of the coolest things you can do in Star Citizen currently. Of course, the wreckage is purely just there for salvage at this point, but it gets your mind thinking about the stuff that will be coming down the line. Eventually, you won't wreck an Idris like this right off the bat. You could end up actually soft deathing a Idris, having it be disabled, and then your friends could actually board it and basically get into a firefight with the marines on board and taking out the captain. There's a whole slew of gameplay opportunities down the line that could be opened up with just the tech that we're seeing in 318. And it is incredible and I cannot wait to see this stuff get fleshed out in subsequent patches. Now I'm sure you're probably wondering, can you actually go inside the Idris now that it's destroyed? You technically can, but there's actually nothing there. There's no models for it currently. Oh my god, this canister fills up so fast with material since the update. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Like this would be this would be sick because like you can soft death this, right? And your orgs like guys we don't have an Idris. Soft death an Idris and you don't actually take it out, have to deal kill all the Marines, like you basically earned that. Then you gotta like yeah. spend weeks trying to like repair it and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. and then Org would find out that you're trying to repair an Idris out in, you know, East Bubble and then you're out here See, uh, trying to fix it. So you try to move it with SRVs and stuff like that, you move it to a place that's a little bit like quieter. Alright, I'll be bringing in a uh, reclaimer, I got access to one horse. Even if you couldn't fix up an Idris yourself, think about it. You could probably rip off a small thruster on this thing, fix it, and other orgs would pay tons of money for that. Yeah. Yeah, because they're constantly going to need to service and replace and repair these type of parts. And if you're a small org that specializes in that, you can provide a bargain for them, getting them surplus parts for all kinds of different ships they have. Military surplus gem. Slightly used. <laughs> Ever so slightly. So, as I'm flying through here, you can see that some parts you can visibly see the doorways you can see inside, but it looks kind of glitchy and weird as there's nothing really in there. And this is kind of common in-game for pretty much every ship that you just immediately destroy and the parts fly everywhere. It, there's no real finalized interior for what a destroyed ship looks like. It's unclear if CAG are going to improve on this down the line. Uh, I could understand why they might not simply for performance reasons, but currently it does kind of look a little bit weird and glitchy when you look in the interior of a destroyed ship and you just see empty nothingness, like a, an unfinished map almost, in some weird way. It just looks very glitchy and weird. And for salvage purposes, it's not really a big deal, but for the immersion factor, it does kind of leave some room to be desired, essentially, on the table there. And I'm wondering if CIG does plan to address that for all ships, some ships, or most of the ships, or whatever, or if they're just going to leave it that way, like I said, for performance purposes. Either way, it's really, really cool to fly through all these wrecks, especially the Idris wreck, and just kind of get a really, really close look at it, and get a really detailed look at things like, for example, the rear hangar section for the Idris here, and looking at all the details, the Aegis markings, the wear on it, it's just really, really cool to see, and also you get to see the Ninetales livery for the Idris. Which also does beg the question if uh, CAG does plan on updating the Ninetales livery for their ships, because currently they have the watermelon coloration for their ships, which used to be the watermelon coloration for their armor before they changed that. Now that the armor colors and designs have changed, I wonder if the exterior for their ships and their livery that they have is also going to change at some point. Alright, let's go ahead and speed up this salvage operation. Unfortunately, being the PTU, the server 30 k before we could even fill out the Reclaimer's hull and sell the RMC that was in it. Undeterred, however, and with a newfound taste for blood at this point, we decided to hop into a brand new server and find a new critical threat mission to see if we could knock down an Idris and make some money off of it.
This time around we tried to speed up the process by bringing a ton of torpedoes to knock down the Idris. Annoyingly, right at the beginning of the mission, the friendly was immediately just destroyed by enemy torpedoes, failing the objective instantly. It's one of the more annoying issues with these combat assist beacons. The friendly AI always just gets smashed, whether it's the Idris's bow gun that immediately just eliminates the target, or in this case, it seems like an enemy torpedo just vaporized the target before we could even really do anything. We had literally, in this footage, just popped into the area and within seconds the friendly hat died. Really annoying, but luckily the AI is still here and we're gonna try to mop them up here and see if we can make some money off of this Idris and maybe some of these hammerheads that are in the vicinity. If I'm killing me and Vinch, I don't know that you trust it a bit, but me and Vinch uh, were doing it and Philip, uh, it didn't despawn when, after he killed it and it lasted for a while. Maybe we'll get lucky. Yeah, I hope so, because last time I did this on live, or I mean every time I do this on live, if the uh, AI you're supposed to protect dies, the AI attacking just despawns after like three or four minutes or so. It's really annoying. Fox 5, Idris. Hi, you want me to hold torps for hammerheads? Negative. Focus all your attention on the Idris. I'm dumping all kinds of hate on it, because... This Idris is pissing me off since he killed the primary initiator. It's kind of hard to hit the hammerheads with the torps anyway, so it's probably not worth it. They made the uh, uh, torpedoes a lot slower. Rex, I'll say full send to Idris since we're not worried about protecting the final guy. Calm you. Another positive hit on Idris. He's probably about roughly anywhere between 75 to 50 percent HP at this point. Tone for another torpedo. Stand by. Fox five away. Nearby friendlies, be advised. Friendly torpedoes in the water. Friendly torpedoes in the water. Come on, hit, come on, hit, 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 hit. Good impact. Fox 5 away. Friendly torpedo in the water, friendly torpedo in the water. That was not. Good hit. Fox 5 on the. Idris. Big boy, Idris. Copy. Trying to shoot your torp. Box 5. Oh, he can look all he wants. You should take a picture, it'll last longer. Box 5. Flash 1. The torp's just going wide, man. I yeah, it's coming back though, they come back. Good hit. Target's down. Oh, she's singing. I'm taking hits. Bugging out. Your Winchester just go back to DO. I gotta pull out of G's here. Off. Okay, I got a bad log, I guess. Because of the UI bug. I'm back. Oh, Both hammerheads are on us. No UI issue.
this thing's got more health than a hammerhead, so we're good for now. However, we are Winchester on Torpedo, so if anybody wants to help us deal with these hammies, now would be the time. I got hit him with two badger shots, and he said, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got me. I sit here and... Viciously defend this uh, Idris corpse. And with all hostiles down, it was time for Salvage 1 to come in and do their work. Interestingly enough, the Idris has a lot of hull to work with. It's quite obvious. It's a huge, huge ship. But it still is uh, kind of weird how it just leaves all these parts behind. Of course, that is because eventually we're going to have munching, which is going to be the next iteration of salvaging at some point, where we could take the ship and break it down into smaller parts and literally just delete the ship from existence. But until then, all we can really do is just scrape the hull. And there is quite a lot of hull to deal with here. I don't know what the hell I'm celebrating. Now, unfortunately, we ran into another snag where the bottom cargo bay, for some reason, its physics grid was not snapping cargo directly to it, and all the cargo was kind of loose and floating around, and it was a little bit scary, and we were a little bit worried, and also the server's performance was starting to degrade. So at this point, we had to make an audible call and not fill out the ship, but instead take it back to port to sell before we had a potential 30k. It's unfortunate, but it's the reality that we have to deal with in the PTU where the servers are not the strongest currently. Of course, we're going to revisit this down the line once the servers have stabilized a bit more. Size five. Okay, okay. Is that the front turret? The top turret, yeah. yeah. The remote turrets are all Panthers. And, well, there's two top turrets. There's one behind, so yeah. on the boat. Okay, the one on the back is. It's quite small. Small little turret. Oh, it's size two, so I reckon. Oh, looking at it, the size. Okay, I don't have access to that from this station. I got the two on the side, and I got the one on the top. Yeah, see the two on the side. Cool. So one thing I'm, you know, I, I love the massive engines on the Reclaimer, but the exhaust chutes are tiny. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a, you know, like, a letdown, really, <laughs> for what it is. This should be massive. Base has uh, crashed the desktop. Okay. Uh, okay. Too much is going on. Alrighty, first person baby, let's go. Yeah, you're all clear there, that's good. Let's go. Nice, good landing. Yeah, we can't. Yeah, yeah, don't. <laughs> 
Now, obviously, you probably want to know the million dollar question. How much money did we make? Well, we had just over 80-ish so SCU crates of RMC, which sold for about just under 700,000 UEC. Probably could have got more somewhere else, but Orison was the closest. That's where we chose to go. All right, folks, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like as it really does help out the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, subscribe. Also, if you want to take your support a little bit further, I also have links to my new Patreon down below if you want to see additional content that just doesn't quite make it onto the channel, while also at the same time helping me to produce these excellent videos we make for the community here on Hybrid V Audio. Until next time, fly safe, happy holidays, and I'll see you all in the black.